The Dexter robot had about 20 to 30 individual pieces that had to be produced for it. If they had gone with like traditional molding, they would have had hundreds of thousands of dollars in molding costs. So they ended up actually reaching out to Slant 3D. And we ended up producing the first batches of Dexter robot arm pieces for them. And the advantage of that was that they did not have to insource any sort of production, but they were also able to have the flexibility that 3D printing allowed. They were able to create these very complex geometries that could not be manufactured any other way. And if they had made any sort of mistake in that whole process, they would have had to pay that all again in order to update, change, or replace the molds. So 3D printing was really an obvious choice because the robots were a very complex mechanism and they were working with a fairly small budget for creating such a complex mechanism. 